हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो फ्रॉम प्लान साइंस पाठशाला लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फोटोसिंथेसिस फोटोसिंथेसिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस दैट इज देयर इन नेचर विद विच प्लान सिंथेसाइज देयर ओन फूड स्टूडेंट्स एज वी नो सम ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक प्लांट्स सम अलगी and some bacteria synthesize their own food while other organisms cannot synthesize their own food they depends on others for food supply organisms that synthesize their own food are called autotrophs and organisms that cannot synthesize their own food are called as a heterotrophs that is there are two modes of nutrition in plants autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition students let's see autotrophic mode of nutrition we can break word autotroph as auto and troughs auto means self and meaning of troughs is a feeding or nourishing so organisms that synthesize their own food are called as autotrophs and plants some algae and bacteria synthesize their own food that is they are autotrophs students let's see how plants synthesize their own food and for this we need to understand the process of photosynthesis plants need carbon dioxide sunlight water and chlorophyll molecules for the synthesis of sugars let's go in big details plants take atmospheric carbon dioxide through tiny pores in a leaves These are tiny pores seen in leaves are called as a stomata. Plant also needs water for the synthesis of carbohydrates. Plants obtain water from the soil. And this carbon dioxide and water needs to be converted into sugars. And for this conversion, plants requires energy. Plants obtain this energy from sunlight. Now question is how plants absorb sunlight energy? and for the absorption of sunlight energy plant leaves have a special organelle called chloroplast chloroplast occur in cytoplasm of mesophyll cells of leaves there are three structural regions in chloroplast first region is peristomium peristomium is a chloroplast envelope it is made up of outer membrane and inner membrane second is a stoma region Chloroplast peristomium encloses dense colorless gel like matrix called stoma. Stoma region contains photosynthetic enzymes as well as DNA, RNA and ribosomes. And third region of chloroplast is a thylakoid. Thylakoids are small flat sac like bodies suspended in stoma region. Thylakoids are usually arranged one above another like a stack of coins and this stack of coins uh, arrangement of thylakoids is called as a granule inner membrane of thylakoid contains number of small dome shaped bodies called chondrosomes and these all chondrosomes contain small particles called as a photosynthetic pigments Chondrosomes are also considered as a photosynthetic units and these chondrosomes contain photosynthetic pigments like chlorophylls and carotenoids. Chondrosomes also contain enzymes required for the photosynthesis and these pigments present in chondrosomes trap sunlight energy and helps to convert carbon dioxide and water into sugars. Thus during photosynthesis there is a conversion of sunlight energy into chemical energy so the process in which carbon dioxide and water is converted into sugars with the help of or in presence of sunlight and chlorophylls is called as a photosynthesis now let's see general equation of photosynthesis here we will see carbon dioxide is reduced to the carbohydrates and water molecules splits into hydrogen and oxygen in presence of sunlight these hydrogen molecules comes to carbon dioxide and reduced to the carbohydrates 
In short, we can study whole process of photosynthesis in a two parts. Part 1 is a light reactions of photosynthesis and part 2 is a dark reaction of photosynthesis. Now let's see what happens in a light reaction of photosynthesis. Light reaction of photosynthesis is a light dependent process and it occurs in a grana part of chloroplast because light trapping photosynthetic pigments present in a quantasomes of grana thylakoid. In a light reactions water molecules splits into hydrogen and oxygen and such a splitting or a breakdown of water molecule in a presence of a sunlight is called as photo oxidation of water or photolysis of water or it also called as a Hills reaction. And in next video, we will study photolysis or photooxidation of water in details. During light reaction, photosynthetic pigments absorb sunlight energy. After absorbing sunlight energy, chlorophyll molecules get excited. And excited chlorophyll molecules emits energy-rich electron to the outer orbit. And this expelled electron is energy-rich. And this energy-rich expelled electron moves through photosystem first and photosystem second. While moving through photosystems, energy of that energy-rich electron is conserved in ATP and NADH form. Thus, in light reactions, now we have oxygen, ATP and NADH molecules. Now, let's see what happens in dark reactions. Dark reaction of photosynthesis is a light independent process and it occurs in a stroma part of chloroplast. During dark reactions, ATP and NADPH2 molecules synthesized in light reactions are utilized for the reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. Students now come to the point of importance of photosynthesis. Sun is the ultimate source of energy for the plants and only chlorophyll containing organisms through the process of photosynthesis can make sugars from carbon dioxide. Without chlorophyll and accessory pigments, no other organisms traps sunlight energy to convert it into ATP and thus without photosynthesis process, no any organism of this planet can convert carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. Process of photosynthesis provides food for all living organisms. It provides food directly as vegetables or indirectly as meat or milk. Food materials are source of energy. Friends, we all know that all animals depends on plants for food. Few animals are directly dependent on plants for their food, like some herbivorous animals. And few animals are indirectly dependent on plants for their food. They consume herbivores, herbivorous animals and they are consumers. Process of photosynthesis also provides energy in the form of fuels such as coal, wood, petroleum, or fossil fuels. This process also maintains equilibrium of oxygen in atmosphere. Photosynthetic organisms are the producers in every ecosystem. Photosynthesis is responsible for more or less constant concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis is energy transduction process because in this process Light energy is converted into chemical energy by green plants. And process, photosynthesis process is also useful in production of many secondary metabolites like gums, resins, tannins, polyphenols, etc. Photosynthesis is responsible for maintaining proper balance of useful and harmful gases in the atmosphere. And oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis which is also essential for life. Students, in forthcoming video, we will study light reactions and dark reactions of photosynthesis in a detail. Thank you. Thank you very much.